was the last time everyone went to the dentist? Hey. It's been a while, you know. I went maybe a year ago, mm. uh, private dentist. So Ew, Roots. man. Three. A year ago. Yeah. So Harry's wrong? Yeah. Yes. Back in <laughs> You're petty. Why is it stand up? We will not be shouting at pupils in my classroom. <laughs> Hi, I'm Young Philly, and welcome back to another Foot Asylum show. It has been a while. We are back with Homeschool! <laughs> For those that don't know what Homeschool is, Homeschool is where four adults take on Britain's brainiest kids to see who is smarter. But before we get into the video, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and hit the post notification bell so you know when Foot Asylum upload a new video. All right, but before we get into it, let's meet the child. Um, what's your name? Perrine. Perrine, Perrine. Perrine. Well done, Perrine. Perrine, how old are you? I'm 12. You're 12 years old. And what is your favourite subject in school? English. 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 Perrine, um, who is your favourite YouTuber? <coughs> or group. It could be a group. Yeah, it could be a group. Um, um, um. Harry! 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 All right. Um, and Perrine, do you have any hobbies? Yeah, so I do netball and I play goal attack or goal shooter. Wow, really good. And, and, and just to prove that we mm. are uh, smart as well, mm. we know about netball. Yeah. Uh, Harry, can you tell us another position in netball? Um, centre. Nice. There is a centre, isn't yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, the yeah. specs? Uh, you can't run with the ball in your hand. <laughs> okay. Mm. All right, so we've met Perrine. You already know the adults. It is now time for round one and we are going to start with science. And up first, as you can see, is none other than Spets Gonzalez. Spets Gonzalez. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, question one. Uh, do me a favour. Yeah, you yeah, see, yeah. when I'm asking the questions, just look at whose light comes up first. Okay, first. Yes, sir. Yeah. What makes up 80% of our brains? That was Perrine. Go on, Perrine. Water. Yes, that is oh, the right answer. Amazing. <laughs> Perrine. Oh, never that. So, um, in case you guys didn't know, me and Harry uh, stream on a platform called Twitch, uh, which you follow us at uh, uh, Young Philly and Joe. What's uh, your... Harry Panera. All right. Um, so, do you want to bet fifty gifted? I'm saying that Specs doesn't get one point. Um, I'm also guessing that as well. Okay, so then the bet's not on then. Yeah. <laughs> I don't already. bet because I'm a Muslim. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, alaikum salam. It's great encouragement from you guys and my friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Where is the largest bone in your body? A leg. Yes. Wow. A bit late though, buddy. Clap, don't be sour. No, no, it's not gonna be sour. How can it be the leg? So the leg's bigger. It's bigger no, it's this, it's this part. You must have watched that clip, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way you didn't watch that clip. No, I didn't. Which one? Comment down below no. where I answered that same question. Did you very, say the very same iconic answer? clip, yeah. Yes! I said what? I said big as in, big as in what? Because the leg might yeah. be bigger in, and then I said, anyway. Um, so, <laughs> at the moment, out of five answers, Perrine has two correct. Specs, please, my brother, at least get one right. Oh, wow, I didn't know this, you know. But I'm not all, I'm not all there, you know. See, this, this, see, this is what, this doesn't help me. When he does that, yeah, yeah, I, don't yeah. believe, I don't believe I can get the answer now. Yeah. No, no, genuinely. Bamboo. Help me! No, because it's like, <laughs> who's going to sit there and count them all? With that being said, how many teeth should an adult have included in their wisdom? <laughs> teeth. Who was at first? That's I Perrine. We were not cheating in my class. Go on then, Perrine. 32. That is correct. Wow. 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 And that's wow. what I mean. Like, You're smart, you know, because do you even have 32 teeth? Me? Five. No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's the thing. So when you're asking that question, are you asking a personal question or you are, is it a bit uh, to Five. general knowledge science? I suppose. Mm. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't know that, you know. Did you know that? Yeah, I did. <coughs> Fair enough. Yeah. And also, when was the last time everyone went to the dentist? Hey. It's been a while, you know. I went maybe a year ago, mm. uh, private dentist, and <laughs> I uh, just... Ew, so Ruth, man. Perrine. A year ago. Yeah. Yeah, no, because obviously I've got a child. When you have a child, it's very oh, difficult for you enough. to go. Oh, fair enough. You've got a child. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I'm sure your mum, sometimes she's too busy looking after you. Mm. And it's very difficult mm. for her to go and f focus on other things. Mm, it's true. Yeah. That's the true. best excuse you've got. <laughs> Literally. This one's obvious, but I want to go ahead. What is the human body's biggest organ? Specs. That was specs. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you looking at me? I'm just... oh, wait for your answer. Oh. Hot. Fair enough. Go on. Oh, sorry. Um, the skin. Yeah. Oh, no. Like, no, it's all over your face. Marine is awake. 
Yeah, the skin is an organ. The skin is an organ on if the they're outside. Cr- if, if, if they're attentive to D, oh, they'll clock while the man and my doing this. So, last question is, Hello. your heart is the same size as your what? Down specs. Specs. Um, your heart is the same size as your brain. Zambin, Zambin. You, why are you, you're, you're saying brain. Hand, fist. I said fist is the correct answer. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is what we like to call a whitewash. Round of applause for Serene. <laughs> that is the end of round one, and Serene has managed to secure all five points. Specs, thank you so much for joining us. Please take a seat on the couch because up next we have a true or false section with Harry Pinero, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I think it's fair to say, Nella Specs, Harry, Perina, this is probably the easiest round because yeah. you can literally just guess. 50 true or 50. False. So that means Harry should win. 50 50. Harry yeah. should win then. Uh, I mean, well, not, necessarily. No, no, not necessarily. Because I could get it wrong and then Perina has the right answer. Because look, just an example, oh, he does it. What's fungus? What's yeah. fungus? Fungus is a uh, bacteria. F- done. Fair enough. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, okay. I'm surprised I know what that is. <laughs> All right. So, hands on the buzzers, please. Remember, it's <clears throat> literally an answer of true or false. Your nose and ears continue to grow for your entire life. <laughs> Who was it? Please look at the buzzer. Uh, that was Perrine. Are you sure? Definitely. Yeah. I feel like you lot are just picking no, the no, side. No, no, no. Like I'm being fair. No, can I be honest? It was definitely Perrine. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Go on, Perrine. Yes. I mean, true. Yes, correct. That is the right answer. Ooh. Oh, good. That better be false. Whoa, what? yeah. Well, it is my what nose, it is. My nose is... Yeah, because have you, have you realised, yeah, like, like when people are quite older, their nose spreads. And there is a few. Yeah, they're bigger. Yeah. Yeah, because remember, it's an yeah. organ. Mm. Organ doesn't stop growing. <laughs> Can I change the question? <laughs> so, the second question is, true or false, Sydney is the capital of Australia? That is incorrect. It's actually Cranbra. Oh! <laughs> you thought you would! <laughs> you thought you would! Stand up! We will not be shouting at pupils in my classroom! Hands on the table! Hands on your shoulders, hands on your lips, and sit down. Sorry, sir. Whoa. Sorry. Question three. Now I'm really ticked off. <laughs> <laughs> the national game of England is cricket. That is incorrect. It was it's false. It was. Sorry. You're a man to say false. It was and you know what's crazy? Yeah. It's actually true, you know. Why is it not football if we created the sport? So Harry's wrong. Yeah. Yes. But I get <laughs> You're petty. You're so petty. Oh Did not prove you off? No, because you know what I thought it was? I thought oh, it was rugby. So I actually thought it was football. Same. Football's like the biggest sport in the world. And football or rugby? We no, football, football. football is a, a, a man-made construct that has been developed into the, the area. No, seriously, jokes how aside, though, how is it not football? Real. So when they say it's coming home. Yeah. So, what's, what? so what's the actual sport? Cricket. Cricket? Oh yeah. God! You know oh, what? I love general knowledge, yeah, and yeah, trivia and true and false because you actually learn something. Yeah, you actually learn stuff. So now I know that it is cricket. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what does LBW so for? But, 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 LBW. LBW <laughs> left wing back cricket. <laughs> and question number four is. So can I just ask, uh, sir? Just, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Uh, does that mean that because you know she didn't actually say yes or no or, or true or false? Does that mean that she actually you know still gets a point? Well, it depends because if you got it wrong, I give the other person a question, and your question is, what is the capital of England? London. She gets another point! <laughs> Alright, question number four. Um, grow up. <laughs> is it possible? Ooh, I didn't even know this. Is it possible to sneeze while sleeping? <laughs> what was it? It's me. Bro, you've got to look at the buzzer. I'll, I'll look at the buzzer. Harry, it's me. Harry, it's me. Um, yes, it is possible to sneeze. False. What? It's true. No, it's false. I mean, it's false. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, is that, is that, no, because oh, I, 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 I remember. No, I remember. Yeah. In, in Creole, true is false. But the thing is, I'm saying, I remember you saying no cheating. She didn't cheat, though. She did. No, she, she just basically said, it's, it's false. No, but <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> you, you said your answer. Yeah, in Creole. I didn't know that we spoke. Uh, we, oh, we just only speak English here. <laughs> what yeah. about the people back home that, that speak the way we speak? <laughs> all right, you're going on one. So, the score is currently 2-1, and Harry, it's all to play for, for yourself. Mm. Because if you get this last one right, you end the round in a draw, which we haven't had for mm. the whole series. And we're going to have Sudden still alive. And I feel like we're all going to learn from this one. Of course. This one's really good. Sudden. Crocodile share tears when they eat food. True or false? Who was it? That was Ain't Harry. Got a clue. Harry, yeah? Harry. Oh, so fair. Now, I want to say rest in peace, Steve Irwin, first and foremost. I legend you. Because he was around a lot of crocodiles. Legends. 
you know. Crocodile tears. It's a what? You know. Sorry? You know. So what's your answer? You know. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. The answer I, I, is I just, actually, I, genuinely, it's true. And the fact that you have guessed that, it means that Harry has secured himself a draw. Yes. So now, do you know, know why I know that? I'd love that, to know that. Can do you know how I know that? Like, you know, like, um, on the YouTube video, Edda, can you put it. at the bottom here, like, a fact as to why they cry? Like, why do they cry when so they So, I can explain it, yeah? All right, Could moving on. Dance. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause for Harry Panera for drawing. I know that sounds Ooh. great. No, no, no. But it's a big achievement for the adults. No, I think we should do Sudden Still Alive. Sudden, sudden Death, still. all right. No, no! Sudden Still Alive. All right, Sudden D. All right, um, let me think of one, true or false. Last question is. Yes. We are af. Uh, hands on buzzers. Are sharks mammals? <laughs> that was Harry. Who? Uh -huh. That was, was actually Harry. Harry. No, that was Harry. It wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. Who was it? Harry. It's Harry. It's Harry. It's Harry. It's Harry. I just want to say um, congratulations on being on Foot Asylum, uh, but not winning because sharks are, of course, mammals. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It gives You're me great, such a wait, hater. Wait, everyone. It gives me great pleasure <laughs> to announce that Harry Pinero is wrong. Yes! So now this means, if Perrine gets this next question I'm gonna ask her right, she is the winner. True or false, Perrine? French is the official language of Spain. False. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> whoa, 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 you before you so do that, you think of the so history petty. of the French. You so, are so petty. France has a red colour, which was actually the first colour. Hands on lips! To be used. Get ready to do a round of applause because Perrine has won that round! Bro, Harry you could have taken a draw. Sorry, go on. You could have taken a draw. You are so sudden alive. Now you've lost. Yeah, it's true. You know. No, but the reason why. I yeah, but to, draws are boring. I wanted to showkace Perrine's amazing ability to be able to work under. And enough waffling from you, ladies and gentlemen. One more time, give it up for Harry. But up next, we have Nella Rose versus Perrine in a round of English. Woo! So, pressure's on for you, Nella Rose. I'm trying to Perrine win, I can't lie. Oh, sorry? She's a grown kid, I'm trying to win. Yeah, no, I hate grown that. Kid. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. But miss. it's pressure because Perrine did state at the start that, was it English? Yeah. Yes, English is her favorite subject. Ooh. Um, how did you do in English? What, what GCSEs did you get, Nella? I think I got B. Okay, so you, should, you should be enough, half yeah. decent. Yeah, like 10 years ago. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. The first question goes a little something like this. Give an example of an onomatopoeia. Who was it? Perrine. Mm. Perrine. Go on, Perrine. Good, because I didn't know that one. Um. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Never mind, reverse. Okay. Um, Do you want to give one, Nella? Oh, wait, are you done with your answer? Yeah, yeah. cheers, cheers, yeah. cheers, cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Red roses spinning. I'm going to give her that. Onomatopoeia mm -mm. is a word that phonetically imitates, resembles, or suggests the sound that it describes. Oh. So yeah, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. What, what, so really what sense, did no? What did Miller say that? <laughs> yeah. Onomatopoeia. Yeah. Oh, wait, I got one. I got one. I got one. It's 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 like you saying imitating a sound. I, but I've just read that out, bro. No, but she said red. I know. I know. Red red that's really what, if it sounds like that. And that's why I'm giving bang. Perina different questions. Spell suddenly, and you get this right. You <laughs> wait, actually. Yeah. S. Wait, suddenly. S U. Why? That is correct! Well done. Suddenly. I don't know why I let Nella Rose get away with that one. Second question is, give an example of alliteration. This is cheating! Oh, no, no, no. Sir, sir, uh, sir. Yeah. Sir, yes. snitch. Don't snitch. I, I, I saw her lifting the buzzer snitch. up and, 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 and didn't let Perrine use it. All right, so with that being said, Perrine, you get to answer first. Um, Pretty Pals. Yeah, it works, isn't it? Yeah. It's like yeah. Peter picked yeah, yeah. peppers. Yeah. Precisely. Peter put the pizza in the pizza puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> when I got the pizza, uh -huh. the pepperoni. Yeah. I'm out. So uh, uh, it's 2 0, yeah. sir. Well, that's not going to happen. Yes, if we didn't clap, yes, it's 2 0 for Marine. How dare I? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Eh. Um, up next, this is very similar to the uh, first two questions we heard. Give an example. No, I sir, I, she's I, doing it again, sir, no. sir. She's doing it again. <laughs> this nice. isn't our. It's giving. No one else but Nella. Nella, stand up. 
Cross your arms, hands on your hips, and show them Congo. D, D, D. Sit down. All right. Show them Congo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hands on buzzers, because you both, you both know this one. Uh, give an oh, get oh, off. Sit up, please. Give an example of a simile. Uh, Perrine. As loud as a whale. Ooh, that's a that is right! A whale is loud! Yeah, no, they did. Yeah, real. Yeah, the loudest animal on earth. It's a fact. Now, question number four. How many syllables does the word atrocious have? Three. Yeah. Atrocious. It's been coming now. Atrocious. Bears, man. Atrocious. Lost my mate. Last question. Atrocious. I'm a, sorry, students, yeah. am I right in thinking that um, Perrine has got every answer right? She's That's got every right. right. It's, it's that means, Perrine, if you get this last one, that is. Wait, <laughs> All right, the last question is what do you call the punctuation mark consisting of two equally sized dots aligned vertically? Um, apostrophe. Mental, Ooh. you've gone mad. <laughs> Colon. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. It gives me great pleasure. Yeah. You got to all out. The winner, Perrine. Yes. Now, Harry, with the most utmost manners, would you please do the, uh, the how would you call it again? One must always, when logging on to the YouTube format called You Foot Asylum, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Always download the app for exclusive discounts and rewards. Yes. And with that being said, fold your arms, hands on heads, hands on hips, hands on lips, and wave at the camera. Bye! Bye, y'all. High five. Thou <laughs> shall listen in the classroom no, someone didn't as Professor Spets demands it. Oh, forbid of North! <laughs> <laughs>